After that incredible day that concluded with Joshua's altar, the next day, just as incredible, we began at the Mount of Olives. That You know, that place is so inspirational. Of course, you stand there, and, and this was our second time to stand there. We did it in 2018, of course. But it affects you in a way that is really impossible to describe because standing there and thinking to myself, this is where the Lord will stand when he returns Mm -hmm. physically to the earth to rule in Jerusalem. And it's important that you bear in mind, draw an imaginary line, if you will, and Derek might even be able to put one on the screen so you can see it. Draw a line from the Mount of Olives to the Eastern Gate, which is presently bricked up. And since the Muslims conquered Jerusalem around 636 A.D., they've planted a cemetery just outside that gate, believing that somehow the Messiah would not be able to walk across the graves because it's unclean, unholy ground. It it won't work. The Lord Lord is not dismayed by those things. No. When he stands on the Mount of Olives and it splits north to south, when that happens, whatever's then in front of the gate will probably fall into the pit anyway, so... See Israel with the Gilberts, March 19th through 30th of 2023, with an optional three-day extension to Jordan. For more information, log on to gilberthouse.org travel.